I've, I've chosen um, some really great scents to mix together. I've got a lemon pound cake and some Amish fruit bread from Amish, Amish, Amish fruit cake from Nature's Garden. And I'm throwing in some vanilla. It's going to be awesome. Um, really excited. I'm going to bring in some color. I was originally just going to do make it white and green, but I decided to add some red to give it some pop. So we'll see how that goes. So come on into my soapy kitchen and let's get soaping. Okay, so here we have our oils and our lye mixed together and we're getting ready to add um, the medlar paste that we made, that I made in January, early in January. Um, it's almost February, but uh, we will go ahead and do that. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to put some of this medlar paste into soap. A couple of tablespoons is all. separate this into a couple of colors because I want to put a little bit of green in there and then I'll swirl in some cream. Okay, so I'm just going to pour some of that in. Some of that in. And I'm going to use the pine green mica. Chemistry connection for this one. I buy my colorants all over the world. Um, and I'm going to use uh, the raspberry mica just to give it a punch of color. All right, so I'm going to use my little stick blender. Now one color, one thing I love to do with my Medlar Jam is I love to add Pandan to it. So Pandan is a, it's a, um, a vegetable or a, a leaf, Pandan leaf, that's used for flavoring in the Philippines. Super yummy, super yummy if you get a chance to try it. It's like a bakery all in one. Now the scent I've chosen for this one is a mixture of Amish friendship bread, lemon pound cake from Nature Star So, and a vanilla essential oil, vanilla tin foil essential oil. So I'm going to put in the vanilla first. Lots of the friendship cake. Now we're going to finish off the lemon. And I'm just going to add a little bit of tapioca starch to help to anchor the scent. Wee little blend. Hopefully it won't all seize up on me. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright, so I prepared my mold already. So here's and I need that. The mold, and I'm just going to make sure I get it right in there. See, it is 
accelerating the trays. So this is going to be an interesting swirl if I'm able to make it swirl. I hope I am. We'll see. first. And I'm going to try to fold it in. So move that one through. We'll put some green in. Fold that through. We'll need some on the end here. This will be an interesting kind of soap. take the rest put that on one side oops and the green on the other and I'm gonna do We're going to be painting the top. That looks beauteous. Just want to get a little more green in there. Pattern. Give that a tap down. I'm going to tap it on the ground. Hold on. Okay, so here's what the finished soap looks like. I'm going to put this somewhere so that it can have a chance to set and cure. And we'll come right back for the cut in 24 to 48 hours. All right. Okay, I'm just going around the edges and smoothing everything that's rough. I'm going to try gilding this with an airbrush. So I'm going to use some color, some mica colors, to tie in the top with the bottom a little bit. So it's taken on the color of the fruit. So on the bottom, it looks like that. On the top, A little bit of too much fragrance oil. Went a little crazy with the fragrance oil on this one. So, it's either that or glycerin rivers. I don't know. We'll see when we cut into it what this is all about. I know that the pH is proper. The pH is perfect. So we're going to do a little bit of painting and finish this up. So, Alrighty, hopefully we can keep the shadows away. But I'm going to start with some green and some gold and a little bit of orange. The blue, and we'll do them all. Um, what I'm Gonna try to um, teach it a bit of red. 
portray in my painting of the soap and gilding of the soap is uh, the fall. So I'm just going to put a little bit of red around the edges on a few of them. Or you can see uh, not all the way around. We're going to be layering some colors here. Because it's so dark, Highlight. Um, there's a little bottom there that looks kind of cool. All right, that's enough for the red. done with the red. The thing that I'm going to do the most with is this gold. I really, really want to gild to get the detail here. So we'll be going on and over and allow some mixing of color. See there, especially on the inside. So I want all those little bits all that detail to start to pop. A little bit of blue in the center to kind of give it shadow. And I'm also going to use a couple more shades of gold. And I'm not going to do a heavy gilding of this. We're just going to give it a little the other side is still gorgeous. This is seriously not a paint job, but more of a, of a gilding. Some of its the importance of the fruit is what it gives us beautiful flavor. It's called often called the ugly fruit, and I don't think it's ugly at all. Oh, that's enough of the gold. I'm going to put some of the yellow in there. We're going to put that on the outside. Bits. That's where I used. I'm not going to. I'm not going to just cover it. I'm just going to give it a little bit of. Pajabs. A little punch color. Because the actual color of the fruit is that's what's is what's underneath. So that's that brown is the perfect shade. Fragrance oil did the perfect job for this fruit. I don't want to get it too heavy. Keep getting a little heavy. If I get it too heavy, I'll just spritz with a little bit of water. And that'll tone it down a little bit. And I want to get some of that in the middle too. So we don't have a one dimensional, give it three dimensional. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on detail. I'm just basically gilding the lily here. So I think it's beautiful the way it is. So I'm going to add a little purple center there. And that's going to get toned down by the green. Green is the big that tree is so green and so beautiful. It's the most beautiful tree. I call it my Dr. Seuss tree because it tends to canter over to the side, but it's a gorgeous, 
gorgeous tree. in there so I don't want to lose all of my my brown now I need a little bit of orange I'm gonna add a little bit here and there oops I really want it in there because it's so green so wash that away Too much, too much, too much. That's why it was doing that. Because it is the fall, so we want some of these colors to run in. That's why I wasn't real care terribly careful. And just a touch of blue. And shadow. So how's that look, guys? Does that uh, punch it up a little bit? Just want to make sure there's no thick layers of anything. And... It's thick. I'm going to just take it off. I love, love, love painting with watercolors. And this is like painting with watercolors. Too much there. Any stripey stripies? I'm just gonna smear them out. I don't want any clunks of color because that's not very pretty. All the kind of low. Alrighty. A little bit of oh, too much. Put it on one, I gotta put it on the others. Alrighty, so there we go. That is my Medlar soap. Front, back, and we'll bring you back to. I'm just gonna clean up my edges and I'll bring you back to cut this soap. Right, everybody we're here to cut the medlar soap so here's the bar all painted and gilded beautiful beautiful all around now let's see what we did to see what's inside I am going to trim the ends off of this one some nice soap cards oh that's interesting that's pretty it's quite pretty not a lot going on yet. Let's see if we got more further down the line. Some tissue paper here. Swipe it with. Swipey, swipey. Alrighty. Alright, first full bar. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. That's pretty, 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 pretty. Hmm. Smells amazing. I'll put them over here so you can see them. Alrighty. These are going to be really. It's so much fragrance in these. These are going to be so fragrant. Well, we 
everything recommended guidelines. I just didn't mix good enough. We'll see. If they're just drying or if it's Just dry here. Huh. Pretty pretty. I like that swirl. The bottoms are lovely. Could also be the fruit. My guess is it's just some fruit that's drying out. I used quite a bit. I used like half a cup of fruit, so that's going to have to actually dry out. Oh, there's a pretty mica swirl. I thought you can actually see the sparkle in that. Yeah, that's just, that's just gonna go away. Alrighty. The pH is the most important thing and how it looks when you're happy with the look. And this other stuff. What you work through with uh, goat's milk soap, it kind of smells like ammonia. So with fresh fruit, you end up with more moisture. It's not something, yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of that one. There's a big chunk of fruit. Get it to dry out. And then it'll be ready. These have got a good uh, three to six weeks of drying time. So that one's got a lot. Yeah, that's fruit. Next time I will mix it a little more thoroughly with the stick blender. And a few bars with too much fruit, too much medlar. That's a cute little bar. These are going to actually be kind of petite little chunky bars. I usually have much taller, heavier bars. These are actually going to be in the 3.5 ounce range, whereas mine usually are more like 5 or 6 ounces. But super, super pretty. Yeah, another big chunk of fruit. Just going to take the back off of this for oops. Make it pretty. I don't know if I can do it this way, but we'll try. Let's see if I did it. A little crooked, but that's okay. These bars are gorgeous. Just gorgeous. All right, so that's what medlar fruit is. Maybe use half as much fruit as I did. I used a half a cup. I should have probably just used a quarter of a cup. <laughs> not the end of the world. It's not going to go rotten in there or anything. Um, and there's a lot of sugar in it, so that's probably the sugars too. All righty, so that is the medlar soap and how it turned out. I'm really happy with it. I really like the painting and the... The rustic renaissance look of it um, and how dark it is it's just like the fruit so I think it's spot on that way um, so if you want to incorporate fresh fresh fruits and vegetables in you can it's probably safer to dry them first and grind them up because they're then you don't have that extra bit of fruit pieces <laughs> throughout your soap possibly all right, so um, click like and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Um, I'm not afraid to try anything new, so you may like or you may not like. Uh, but at least if I make a mistake, uh, you won't make that mistake um, with your own soaping. So for now, this is Jennifer at Gentle Soaps, and we'll see you next time. Bye.